So hi there and welcome to this week's video. Uh, I just wanted to say a big thanks to everyone that uh, watched my last week's video on Star Wars Lego photography. Um, it seems to have proved really popular and so I thought I would continue the theme this week and doing a bit more creative photography with toys. Uh, but this week I was going to be doing, focusing much more on the smaller details. So I'm going to be got my Stormtrooper here and I'm going to be setting up a scene where he's almost shell-shocked in the middle of battle. So I'm going to be introducing some additional lighting. I want to add some atmosphere with smoke. And the main thing for this episode is how we're going to do our background. And the way I'm going to achieve this is by using a TV screen in the background and setting up an image like this is a Star Wars background that I've downloaded and I'm going to put that behind my scene just to give it some extra depth uh, and hopefully we're going to come away with a really nice image at the end of it. So um, before I carry on I just want to say a big thanks to everyone that watched last week's video on Lego Star Wars. If you haven't watched it yet I'll put a link up to it now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do, uh, that would be absolutely amazing and please just Drop a comment below or give me a like if you enjoyed the video. That's probably enough of me talking, so let's crack straight on with the shot and start setting everything up. So the first thing we need to do, start posing our figure. Uh, what I'm going to do is set him up on top of uh, a raised platform, which is nothing more complicated than a soup pot. Uh, this will allow me just to line him up with the background better and it will also let me introduce some smoke underneath the character because I want it to rise up around him. And when we've done that, we'll start looking at setting up our background. But um, right now, let's get our character set up and get our framing done with the camera as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use some blue tack to stick him down onto the pot. So I'm just going to add a little piece of blue tack here onto each foot. There we go. And then I'm going to stand him on my pot, ready to be posed. Although this one should be quite simple. There we go. He shouldn't go anywhere now, should be quite safe. So now what I'm going to do is just set up my character and pose him how I, how I want. So I want him to be looking quite down, a little bit downwards and just putting a little bit of an arch into his back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my focal length all the way to 70 so that I can get some really nice separation between the foreground and the background. We've got our cat we've just check our posing. So we want him to be looking down slightly, just. So yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. He looks, so I'm quite happy with that. He's looking quite dejected in the middle of battle. Things aren't going right. Stormtroopers are falling all around him. He hasn't managed to shoot one single thing with his blaster is not a happy trooper. Okay, great, so we've got our camera set up, we've got the character set up in the position that we want. The next thing we want to start doing is bringing in the, the lighting that we want to add to atmosphere to this image. So I'm going to use some cheap ring lights that I've got off of Amazon. I've had these a couple of years now, but they're really useful. Uh, one of them's got a blue filter on it, the other one's got a, an orange filter. So now I'm going to put these to this each side of my image, so one half of the image is going to get a nice blue cast to it and the other side is going to get more of an orange glow. Um, hopefully sort of creating that feel that, uh, hopefully creating the illusion that there's a battle going on around him out of shot. So let's, let's get these lights set up. So I'm going to position the orange light on one side and then I'm going to set up my blue light on the other. And I've got these just plugged into a power bank just uh, really simple to use. So let's check that how that's looking. So we can position the lights, we can move them closer or further away. Just to so move my orange one. Yeah, I'm going to move my orange one slightly closer. So I'm really, yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. Really think that's adding some nice atmosphere. Okay, great. So as you can see, we've got our lighting set up, we've got our camera set up and we've got our figure posed. So what we need to do now is set up a really nice Star Warsy background. So I'm going to download an image now 
from uh, Reddit, a nice Star wars -y background of the crashed Star Destroyer in the deserts. And I'm going to make that full screen in Photoshop and place that behind the character, hopefully creating the illusion of him being in the middle of a battle on the desert. So to make the image full screen, we're going to push F twice, so once, twice, and then simply use Control and Plus to zoom in the image until it is full screen. Okay, great. So we've got our monitor set up with our backdrop. We've got the lighting and the character and the camera all set up. The next thing to do is just add that element of smoke. And to do that, I'm going to use smoke matches, which are normally used in the building trade to check uh, a chimney and make sure that it's uh, exhausting the fumes properly. But for this instance, we're going to use them to add the, the smoke into our battle scene. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just move it gently across, backwards and forwards across the model and set my camera shooting in continuous burst mode. And this way I can just grab like, the best image from the bunch or maybe even blend two or three of them together just so that I can get the best amount of smoke into the image. Right, so we've added, well, now we've added our atmosphere but we still probably want to add a bit more of that battle element into this scene. So what I'm going to use now is some little mini indoor sparklers. Now what the, I'm going to do is move these around in front of my character and to the side of my character and I'm hoping that uh, we'll capture some lovely bokeh and some really nice sparks um, just to really add that last little bit of drama that we need to the image. And then if it all comes together then what I'll be doing is layering them all up in Photoshop uh, just so I can capture all the different elements that I think work together. So capturing some of those sparks and then some of the smoke and hopefully we're going to have a pretty awesome uh, war-torn, battle-hardened stormtrooper. Anyway, if the image is decent, I'm going to pop it up on screen now. the end. If you haven't subscribed already I'd really love it if you consider subscribing. I cover all kinds of creative photography from toy photography through to music through to landscapes. If you can shoot it with a camera it's going to end up on my channel. So anyway that's it for this week's episode and I will hope, look forward to seeing you next time. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>